Do You Love Me by Muelogo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you love me? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. British Nigerian singer, songwriter and musician has promised two new singles which will coincide with the start of his string of October shows. From his last single, My Sweetie, released via Island Records, to his breakthrough track, Bangolo, to last year's underground hit, The Baddest, featuring UK rap veteran gigs, Mologo has continued to push the envelope for Afrobeats music in the UK and is one of the leading British artists at the cutting edge of the genre. Enjoy the visuals for his latest offering, Do You Love Me? In no debate. Yellow disco unido. KCMG be my own. This year, chat house do. Clue is back with visuals for track four, a so called Yellow Disco Collection, directed by the Archery and Ivan Egan. He presents no debate video. Enjoy a bit of it. 25 and I'm balling. If catch them on Gamolin, find a check before you call me. Where's the food that say you saw me? Saying that he got shit on me. Tell the five zero, please call me. Tryna buy a Benz, fuck you and I. Buy another and give you life. Give me space. Box office. Perfect guy narrowly beats the visit. I want a husband and children. <laughs> Romantic thriller. The perfect guy looks to have narrowly beat M. Night Shay Malan's horror thriller The Visit at the North American box office with $26.7 million from 2,221 theaters. You know I never hurt you, right? Do I? The Visit took in an estimated $25.7 million from 3,068 theaters, the top opening of 2015 so far for a horror film. The final weekend order of the two films could change if Sunday projections are off. Both titles kicking off the full box office exceeded expectations thanks to females of all ages. Perfect Guy from Screen Gems marks the fifth weekend in a row that the movie featuring African-American actors in the lead roles topped the chart. Universal Straight Outta Comedy won three consecutive weekends followed by Sony and TriStar's Christian drama War Room over Labor Day. Venezuelan film Days de Ola wins top Venice Festival Award. A Venezuelan film set among the chaos and violence of Caracas, Days de Ola, or from afar, has won the top Golden Prize at the Venice Film Festival. In his debut feature film, director Lorenzo Vargas tells the story of a rich man who gets sexually involved with a young man from one of the city's gangs. I want to dedicate the prize to my amazing country, Venezuela. I know we have a few problems, but if we talk about them, we will overcome them, Mr. Vargas said. Venezuela is going through a serious economic crisis, which led to months of street protests last year over the shortage of many goods. On Thursday, prominent Venezuelan opposition leader Leopoldo Lopez was sentenced to 13 years and 9 months in prison for inciting violence during the protest. Films should help Latin American countries learn from the mistakes of the past, Mr. Vargas added. 